everyone, this is Swamp Rabbit. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Echo Friendly Odyssey on the easy level for Bloons TD6. Now, if you want to preview what your maps are going to be, which you should always do because otherwise you don't know what to bring with you, uh, just click on one of the islands and it'll show you. So we've got Tree Stump, Easy Standard, and then we're going to have In the Loop, which is a Magic Monkey only map, and we're going to have Logs, which is a standard map. So with the Magic Monkey only, Oban is your best hero to use because Oban gives all the Magic Monkeys a buff. And so it makes them a little more powerful. So we'll use Oban as the hero. And for the crew, I'm going to bring two bomb shooters with me, uh, two ice monkeys, two wizards, two ninjas, three alchemists, six druids, and one village. So let's begin. Okay, on tree stump, I will start by placing my open. I'm going to place him right here. And then I will use, oops, back up. I'm going to use a ninja. I want him to be in open's range so he can get the buff. So I'll add him right here. Now, the druids immediately get Oban's buff. Other magic monkeys, like the wizards and the ninjas and the alchemists, they don't get his buff until later on. Let me see exactly which one it is. Let's see. This is tech speed. Here, on level 11, all your magic monkeys in the range get a plus 5 range and plus 2 pierce. And druids get an additional pierce. But druids get a buff starting from from the very beginning. Well, level two. So. That's why I like to keep all the magic monkeys in Oban's range. I want to upgrade this wizard, or this druid. I want to upgrade the druid to four. I'm going to call it everything except what it is. The ninja. The ninja I will upgrade to four, zero, two. So I'll start off with a 201 upgrade. And then I'll upgrade my ninja to 302. Okay, so now my ninja is upgraded to 402. And the next thing I'll do is add an alchemist to my ninja. So once again, I want to keep it right here because then it'll be in open's range. 
when Oban reaches level 11, uh, this alchemist will get a buff along with the ninja. I want to upgrade this alchemist to 401. Now that I have my Ninja Alchemist combo set up, I am going to add Druids to the map. I want to add them as close to open as I can. And you can see the little open's head when I start to, when I sit these down, uh, that shows that they're getting that open buff. I want all six of them. I'm not sure if I can fit one there, but I want them as close to open as possible. And I want them all bunched together because when we upgrade the druids, they also give each other a buff. The, the upgrade path that I'm going to take gives them a buff from each other. So you want them all close to each other so they can buff each other. Okay, and six. Now what I'm going to do next, rather than upgrade the druids, I'm going to place this village as close to the druids as I can get them. And then I want to give it extended range or bigger radius. And I'm hopeful that that's close enough. Yes, it's close enough so Oban's going to be in the village range. And so are all my druids. So that means that when I give this Kim, that's the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong monkey. Um, when I give the village camo, I'll also give it jungle drums. All of these ninjas also have the camo. So, all the druids. I am misspeaking every monkey today. All right, all my druids. I am going to start and call them druids. And the first one, I'm going to give it Heart of Oak to stop any of the um, regrows. So, I'm going to upgrade it 0 to 4. The remaining ones, I will up this one. I already upgraded to 0, 2, 0. I'll upgrade it to 0, 2, 4 as well. So I've got the two on the front that have Heart of Oak, and the rest of them I'm just going to upgrade to 0, 1, 4. I don't know how much this microphone picks up, but I think you probably just heard my dog growling at the other dog, so in case you were wondering what that noise was. <laughs> Okay, uh, 014 for, for all the remaining druids. So as we get money, we'll upgrade those. See, I'm only now 51. What I'll do next, I'll go ahead and add another alchemist for the druids. So you're kind of close to the village. And I'm going to upgrade it to 401. Also, if you'll notice, every time this little briar ability comes up, I'm just like pushing it automatically. I don't use it as part of a strategy. And so, but when I'm playing a game, 
you know, if I'm devising a strategy, I don't use any abilities at all. If I'm playing a game, I use abilities like the Briar every time it becomes available, simply because it might add a little boost that you might end up needing. I'll add another Alchemist. I want to put it as close to the entrance as possible. Uh, also, 401. I want to keep these Druids covered with Alchemist Acid so that they're being buffed. Okay, um, once I have that, I'm going to add a wizard right here. When open is level 11, that'll be in open's range, so get a buff from open. And we'll upgrade it to 0, 3, 2. <laughs> Everything is clumped right here at the beginning, but that's uh, the best location for things. Now with open, or it's open, I want to go ahead and set his tree by clicking on the first and then you put it right here, which is the, the path goes this way. And so that's the last place that the balloons are going to hit, which gives this little group of guys all the power to uh, hit everything first. It's just like a last minute defense. All right, let's move on to in the lock or in the loop. <laughs> that's in the loop. I'm really misspeaking things today. In the loop map is going to be a magic only map, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yes. So what we'll do is almost the same thing we just did, only without the village. So we're going to have to use our wizard a little bit differently. Okay, we'll start with open. And then we're also going to put a ninja right there. We'll upgrade this ninja to 402, the same as I did on the last map. It's okay that these got by because right here they get a second pass. So I'll upgrade my ninja to 201. Yes. And on this map as well, I'll go ahead and use these briars just every time they're available. Just gives you a little bit extra that you probably won't need, but you might. Give double shot to the ninja, and the next thing I'll do is give it Bloom Jitsu. Okay, Bloom Jitsu on the ninja. Right. 
then I need to give it an alchemist to help it uh, break open the Moab on 40. So I'll do that next. And I'll do the same upgrade as last map. I'll do that to 401. zero one and next stop will be four zero one Now my alchemist is at 401. The next thing I'm going to do is place a wizard. Place it on this corner at the entrance. Okay, for its upgrade, I want to upgrade it 0, 2, and then 3. So I want to get the shimmer for it. Because what the shimmer does, it reveals camo periodically. So that other monkeys like open and like the druids can see camos. Okay, once I have that, I'm going to build my little clutch of druids. So I'll just drop them in here. You want them all in open's range and in each other's range. So we've got six of them, and then I'm going to start upgrading them. Uh, first I'll start by upgrading them all to 013. Now that I've got all my druids at 013, I'll start upgrading them and giving them 014, which is the pop lust. What Poplus does, it gives each of the other druids in its range an extra little buff. So it makes them a lot more powerful when you do it in a group of six. It can be stacked up to five times, so if you have six druids total, they'll each get a times five buff. See, like right now, this one's got th a buff three times because I have three that are upgraded. And then if, once we have all six, they'll all have a times five buff. So all of my druids have times five buff now. I am going to give them some alchemist. Just to make them a little more powerful even. I want to upgrade it to 401 so it's faster throwing so I can reach more of them.
and then I'll add one more alchemist to them. Do the same thing, 401. With three alchemists, because we've got this one over here, this one, this one, and this one. With all of them throwing fast onto the druids, the druids should not go any time without having an alchemist buff on them, which just makes them more powerful. And they just really take care of everything so easily. All right, and moving on to the logs map on this Odyssey. Just move right along. We'll basically do it the same way we're going to have because of the monkeys that I brought. Uh, we'll start with the open. We're going to add a ninja. I'm going to put this ninja like... I want him in Oban's range. Let me look and see how big it is. Okay, yeah. I'll put him kind of just a little bit north of the middle of this box right here. So that he still covers like all the way around this little square. And that way he gets Oban's buff. And he's got really good coverage too. I'm going to upgrade this ninja to 402. I'll use this Briar ability every time it's available. It's not part of an actual strategy, but it, it might give you a little extra defense in case you happen to need it. You shouldn't need it, but if something goes awry, some kind of randomness happens, then you'll have that little extra. After I upgrade my ninja to 402, I will start adding some druids. But let me wait another thousand in cash to get this upgrade before I do that. So I have the Bloonjutsu on my ninja, and I'll start adding some druids. Now I want to add these druids as close to the open as I can, and within each other's range as well.
Right now I'm just adding the druids, I'm not upgrading them yet. I'll go ahead and upgrade them now. I'll upgrade them 0, 1, 3. Right now I only have this ninja with camo ability, so I'm going to click on this little camo thing so it'll target the camo before it targets other wounds. That way, um, I mean these druids and open can kill everything else, but we need this ninja to make sure it doesn't miss any camos. Go back to upgrading my druids. I want more monkeys to have camo than just that ninja. So, I am going to add a village to my little druid clutch. I'll put it like right here, as close to them as I can get it. Let's see. Okay, open is not in the range of the village yet, but when we give it the bigger radius, there it is. And then I want to go ahead and upgrade that to so the village to one to zero so that they all have camo and then I'll give it jungle drums making it two two zero okay. now the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to upgrade each of my druids to pop lust which makes them give each other a buff up and it's stackable up to five times that's why I have six druids All of my little druids are now at 0, 1, 4. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add is a wizard. I'll add it right here. And I'm going to upgrade it to 0, 3, 2. I'll go ahead and do the summon phoenix, so 0, 4, 2. That way I can use the wizard ability call um, the phoenix or the fire dragon, I call it a fire dragon, um, if we need to. Also, I will put some alchemist on my little group of druids, make them a little more powerful. 
I'll upgrade the alchemist to 401. For my opens ability, the tree or the kraken, I'm gonna stick it right here. Well, stick it right here in the middle of this path right here. Uh, that way, the balloons would have to go all the way through, so it gives it a long chance for everything to take it out before it ever hits the tree. You don't want to use your open uh, tree or kraken. You don't want to use it as a primary defense. You kind of just want to use it as a backup. You want to let your monkeys do the work. I will add a third alchemist near the ninja. It'll also be upgraded to 401. Oh well, the map is over. I guess I'll have to stop here. But uh, that is a walkthrough of the Easy Odyssey for Echo Friendly. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I also have videos out for the medium level and for the hard level. Now, if you play the hard level, on map number five, the Pat's Pond, it does require that you have a minimum level of monkey knowledge. So if you have absolutely zero monkey knowledge, it would be impossible to win that map. Uh, but you could try and see, you know, uh, with your level of monkey knowledge, if you've got the right monkey knowledge available. You're going to need either the, the monkey knowledge that reduces the cost of a hero or the one that, um, the one with road spikes might be enough to give it to you. Um, or the one that gives you the 25 regenerated lives. If you have um, if you have the lives or the reduced price on the hero, you can definitely win on Pat's Pond for the hard level of this Odyssey. If you have the road spikes, I haven't tried it out, but you probably can win. So just good luck with it. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.